the puppet stage has four six foot long pieces of conduit. Those four long ones will each have a base, a round base, on the end. Two of those will have two sliding pieces for raising and lowering the board. And that'll be the front. And that'll be the front. And they'll also have the curtain. No, the curtain's behind it, isn't it? No, it's front. There's, there's it's one on the front. One of the front ones. Yeah. Okay, so one will be a curtain, and one will be the board. So the curtain will be on top. Okay. Since there are two, the curtain will be attached to the top one. As opposed, this will be the bottom, this base. This will hold the curtain. This will hold the board that you will rest your elbow on. And those, those two will be tied to these. So these two will make up the front of the... Okay. And then the back will be the other six foot long pieces. And then the shorter pieces will all go crossways at the, at the top of the, of the booth. So they will be connecting these two here, and two up there, and uh, and then two down the side. It's really pretty easy to put together. And except for this bar. This crossbar is different. This, right. This crossbar goes about a foot back from the front. On one of these. On one of these. And this holds a curtain, which is the backdrop curtain. Just as a half slide, curtain. Here, let's slide it down there so they can see it. This is this is one of the side pieces, and this will connect. So the backdrop curtain will be attached to this. But not the very back, but just the backdrop for right. the for the puppet to right, be the, of. Right. The that would be the front end of the puppet stage. This would be the back end, but the short curtain that provides the background for the puppet is suspended from this. The curtains that go on this on this pole have a cutout in the middle so there's curtain on that side and curtain on this side and this clamp is in the middle is in the middle of the cutout. So we lay it back down here again. And that's and there's a cutout on each side that way. So the two side curtains have a cutout which will be towards the front of the puppet stage and they will that will accommodate those clamps and we'll have the we'll leave the clamps on the the pipe that needs to have it on there and this board we have holes in it where we can attach it to this piece right here it'll be bolted right there and by Loosening this eye bolt, you can slide it up and down to accommodate people with longer or shorter arms so they can rest their elbow on that board. Or do you want to stand or sit? Yeah, well, you, can, you can sit in a chair behind and it'll be one height. If you stand behind or if it's a shorter person who's doing the, the uh, puppets, they would be standing more likely and they could rest their elbow there so you'd have to raise this board up but it's, it's but completely it's adjustable. Sliding pieces full. Right. And uh, that's the bottom sliding piece. The top sliding piece is for the curtain that hangs in front of the audience. And the the very back one of these, these will be all the way around. These are all the top pieces. They're shorter than the, than the corner pieces. But all the curtains will have the back, the black to the back. Black back. That way, 
the person with the puppets can see the people, but the people can't see the person. It makes it uh, possible to look through the curtain in one direction. This is, goes to the children's side. This is the, the back inside of So you can actually see through this. The children can't see you if this faces the children. But you, if you're back here on the block side, you can see the children. So all of, all of the curtains will have black towards the back part of the puppet stage. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, you know, we're not talking rocket science here. I'm sure that lots of people there can put this together. And if you have any questions after you get it, you can always send me a message on Facebook Messenger.